don't. Like no, you don't. Say like hi. Say hi. Hi. Hi, this is my grandma. What are we doing today, grandma? We're going shopping at three craft stores. Yes, three craft stores. And I'm filming it because I haven't put any content on my channel lately. <laughs> so oh, I need, for? yeah, I need to film things because... Well, I've got my sunglasses on that hides me. <laughs> You're fine. You're so over dramatic. But we're going to go to Hobby Lobby, Michaels and Joanne's and I have a list of sort of things that I'm looking for, but we'll see what we find there. So I'll check back in with you guys when we hit. I think I'm going to go by Hobby Lobby first cuz then we can make a circle that way, right? Hobby Lobby, yes. Joanne's and then circle back over to Michaels. Yes. So I'll check back in with you guys when we get to Hobby Lobby. So we're in Hobby Lobby and I've grabbed way more than I expected to. I have like a bunch of my arms too. This is uh, crazy, but I'm trying to get back into drawing more because of my confidence level in my drawing. But I'm hoping to maybe do speed paints. I don't know. I'll figure it out eventually. I had to go to an empty aisle to film this. But I'm basically, I came in here for Mod Podge and Glitter to do a fidget spinner video and now I'm leaving with everything else. So I bought way more than I intended to buy and it is very windy now, suddenly. I'm trying to get my grandma stuff in the car too. Ah! Decided to do this one-handed like a smart person. Okay. Your candles are heavy. <laughs> I know they are. <laughs> but I ended up spending a lot more than I intended to on um, art supplies pretty much. I got what I showed in the video earlier, but I went back and I grabbed more cardstock because it was all for 50% off. So I got cardstock, got some small postcards, who wants to focus? We're at Joann's now and they have BB-8 fabric. I realized I didn't film anything else in there besides the BB-8 fabric, but I got these two balls of Burnett baby yarn because my friend is having a baby boy, so I'm going to try and make a blanket out of each of those. That will be fun, but I think now we're going to go to Chick-fil-A and get some food because it's lunchtime and I'm hungry. So we're back home now and I figured I would uh, go over a little bit more with what I got kind of like a craft haul, so to speak, from the little clips you saw because I still fail at showing things while I'm shopping. But um, pretty much we ended up not going to Michael's because I found everything I needed at the last two stores and my grandma was just gonna sit in the car anyways and I went in there, so there was no real point. Um, Hobby Lobby was having like a huge sale on everything, which was really nice. So um, all their like cardstock paper stuff was 50% um, off. So I ended up getting some things to hopefully do some cool drawings on. So I got this um, sheet of paper that has sharks all over it. It was a uh, 22 cents because it was originally 44. I got this hopefully to do like a mermaid drawing on. I was thinking, I don't know, I'm gonna mess with it. It just looked really cool. And then I got this huge pad of paper if it wants to come out of there. It was $19.99 originally and I got it for pretty much 10 bucks because it was 50% off. But it's this huge, let's see if I can hold it right, pack of like craft exclusive, everyday craft is what it's called. There we go. And it has all these cool little like rustic prints and what drew me to it is there is a newspaper kind of print that I really want to do some newsy stuff on. Maybe we'll see how that goes. But it looks like there's um, like four, three or four sheets of every paper so that'll be nice if I mess up and I can just do it again um you guys see, you can see my my Jeremy here doll behind me oh my gosh I'm gonna input him in an art fest which hopefully I will vlog that's actually this Thursday one of my classes ended up being a gallery exhibition and we literally built a art gallery in our school that is all our artwork as students it's all our everything and it's going on at the same time as an art fest which is kind of an art walk which all the students in the school were allowed to submit art pieces so I'm submitting my doll back here um, who's a character from a musical called Be More Chill I have a doll stand and stuff he just needs eyes and then he'll be finished I'm submitting him no oh, excuse me I'm submitting him and I'm submitting a cactus that I put a little hat on so that will be cool but off topic anyways 
I also got this little watercolor pad. Uh, it was two, no, three ninety nine, which was nice. But it has some watercolor sheets in there because I really want to use that because I ended up getting a pack of watercolored pencils as well. So we'll give those a go. Watercolor pencils plus the little pen that you usually need, which was this one. Um, it was $8.99, which isn't too, too bad. I know I had another one of these somewhere, but I can't remember where I put it. So that was exciting. Um, I got some Winsor Newton markers, as I said. I believe they're Winsor Newton. Yeah. Um, they are the brush markers. I believe they're alcoholic ink? Question mark? Alcohol based, yeah. <laughs> where was I aiming the camera? It's just going upwards. So I got a mint green, a pink, and a blender. I'm going to try and try those out, see if I like them at all. We'll see how those go. I got a set of classic graphite drawing pencils for $9.99. These, I believe, were 30% off as well, which was kind of, which was really nice, actually. Um, so I'm trying to get back into drawing more, as I say, every other week, usually. But um, I got two packs of postcards, also 50% off. They're originally $2.99, which is not bad at all. There's 25 in each of these, so that's 50 for me. And then I got two packs of these cards, which there's 12 of them, yeah. So there's 24 in here. Well, there's 24 in total. And they were $3.49. They were 50% off, which thank you, Hobby Lobby. I got what I originally went in there for, which was this pack of metallic gel pens, which is really nice. Um, I have, I don't have them with me, I have um, the pastel set and the glitter set, which turned out really cool too. I loved using them, so I just got the metallic ones to kind of complete that. And then finally, I got this large set of cards and envelopes, which was $6.99 and I got it for 30% off. I just thought this would be cool to do artwork on and write on and include in things. And then lastly, we went to Joann's and I got these Bur Burnant? Burnant? I never know how to say anything. These baby yarns. It's like all these different textures and it's chunky yarn and it's really cool. I got this blue and brown one and then this kind of pastel yellow and brown one to um, do baby blankets for my friend who is expecting. And then, last but not least, I don't have these up here with me, they're in another bag. I got um, some glitter and Mod Podge because I am hopping on the trend and they had these at Target for $3. So I am going to try and decorate one for a video. Hopefully I kind of wanted to glitter it, see if it would work. So I'll show you guys if that works or not. Um, I'll either do this one or I have a red one too because now that I'm thinking about it I'm kind of partial to keeping the pink one as a pink one it's really pretty I have this red one right here so I will try that they were only three dollars at Target I could get them for a lot cheaper online but um I ended up just snagging it at Target instead because I did get this one this is my personal one that I use um it's like a pastel galaxy spinner it's awesome it was a little over a dollar on AliExpress with free shipping. This is my personal one that I love. And then I also got to try out the $5 ones that were at Target, which this one makes a lot more noise, but it does spin a lot better. I'm just ending up with like a whole collection of these. It's awful, but I actually use them and they do help me a lot. So yeah, there's that one. And then my Batman one that I got for a dollar showed up in the mail today. Oop. So yeah, um, thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, can't think of anything else to say but I hope you enjoyed it it was a little kind of short follow me around ish I know I didn't film too much in the stores but at least you got a decent haul at the end which was cool so why don't you go ahead and like comment and subscribe keep a lookout for that fidget spinner video as well as a couple other videos hopefully coming soon I'm going to be on my summer break so that means that I can actually film some within these four weeks hopefully it's been a crazy 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 quarter and a crazy time at work but it's all been worth it. <laughs> so I will see you guys next time. Bye.